And now, your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by Montreal Beach Resort. Under new ownership, discover some of the amazing updates that have gone into one of Cape May's most iconic properties. And check out Harry's Ocean Bar and Grill with an all-new menu and seven days of entertainment, including dueling pianos. Book your getaway or visit today. And good Sunday morning. Hope you're having a fantastic morning. This morning, I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Maybe you're heading out to some religious services, maybe getting ready for a barbecue today or heading to the park. Hope you have a fantastic day. And boy, it's going to turn out to be a nice day out there. We'll get rid of these clouds that are hanging around for just a little bit longer as the cold front has continued to press off to the south and east. So we'll turn partly sunny for the afternoon, less humid and certainly comfortable out there, unlike the last couple of days where it's just been so disgusting with that humidity and mugginess across the area. Tonight, great overnight. One of my famous phrases on my Facebook page, open your windows type of night if you get a chance to open up your windows. Low humidity, temperatures dipping back to lower to mid-60s, definitely a refreshing evening on tap for us into tomorrow morning, but maybe some patchy fog, but we'll play on words here. Monday, yes, the beautiful, definitely seasonable. Temperatures in the mid-80s inland, around 80 along the shoreline, and nice for the night, for the uh, nice as we head into the evening hours towards dusk with those firework displays across the region. So definitely a nice holiday looking out for us as we head through the next 36 to 48 hours across the region. Temperatures right now looking pretty nicely out there. 72 right now in Hamilton, 75 in Marlton, Paris 7s in Trenton, that 195 corridor head on east, uh, three towns north of, north of where I am currently in the Belmar studio at 73 in Asbury Park, 73 in Tuckerton, 72 in Atlantic City, 76 in Cape May. The good news is these temperatures will continue to rise uh, a bit more into the mid 80s, as I mentioned, inland, 80 around the shoreline. But the good news is we're going to see a northwesterly flow and less humid out there. So instead of feeling like the mid 80s and feeling like 90, 95, it's going to feel like the mid 80s without that humidity across the region. So we'll definitely take that for us across uh, for the next uh, for the afternoon and into the evening hours. Your exclusive Norcast hour by hour forecast for the rest of today, basically getting into the Mid 80s, we'll start to see less cloud cover, some more sunshine as we head towards the afternoon and evening hours once that cold front clears the region probably within the next hour or two. And then we'll see ourselves some golden sunshine as you head out and about for this afternoon. Futurecast, we see that cold front just continues to push on through. You're right on the 195 corridor. That's going to continue to push on to the south and east. Clear those skies out. And we got some sunshine for this afternoon. That will continue to be the case and less humid throughout the overnight hours tonight and on into early tomorrow morning. Could have a bout of some patchy fog, especially if you're around water sources, because obviously the lakes and the ponds are going to be much warmer than the actual air temperature itself and along the ocean itself. But overall, look at tomorrow. This is just absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that it's going to be mainly a westerly flow out there, so it's going to be dry. It will be on the warm side, where we should be for this time of year. Again, mid-80s inland, around 80 degrees along the shoreline, but overall we'll take that without the humidity as it is July across the area. And overall we'll stay dry as we head into, as mentioned, to the dusk hour, so therefore any kind of fireworks displays looking great across the board for any of your towns or townships out there that are hosting any kind of fireworks. Overnight tonight, we'll see ourselves partly cloudy skies, temperatures dipping back into the low to mid 60s, maybe a couple 70s out there. But overall, it's going to feel refreshing with that north to northwesterly flow. So as I mentioned, if you get a chance to open up your windows tonight, I would certainly do it because it's one of those few refreshing overnights that we have for the dog days of summer in July and August. Tomorrow, 87 will do what we should be for this time of year around the airport. Mostly sunny skies again. Winds will start start to turn around to the southwest. We'll have a trough off to our Unfortunately, off to our northwest, that's going to start to affect us as we head into the middle of the week. But overall, we're looking fantastic as we head through most of the day tomorrow and temperatures right where they should be for this time of year, right around 80 degrees of year along the shoreline. Temperatures overall, this is some good news because as I'm looking at the 10-day forecast, we're not really seeing much in the way of oppressive heat out there. Are we going to have to deal with humidity? Yes, that's the unfortunate part. As I mentioned, that trough's going to move through the Great Lakes and kind of stall itself out because we're in this blocking pattern right now. High pressure is way out in the heartland. That's why they're basically cooking right now into the you know 100 degree range, even 110 as you head towards the southern plains. But because it's blocking everything, we're getting this northwesterly flow. Now, does that mean we can still get some humidity and possibly a little bit warmer in temperatures? Of course, it's it's obviously the summertime. But the good news is we're not going to see that oppressive heat that's basically out to our west. So yes, yes, we'll have to contend with a trough, but that's not a bad thing per se. It's not going to be total washouts as, as we head through the middle of the week. Do we have chances of showers and maybe a storm? 
Yes, and that's not a bad thing because obviously we're in a dry situation currently, and instead of getting two inches an hour or you know within a short amount of time, it's nice to get some garden variety showers and storms that will dump you know a quarter of an inch over an hour or two hours rather than two inches over that time. So we'll definitely take that in temperatures looking for where they should be for this time of year. Seven day outlook, we'll see for, as I mentioned, the trough will sit over us for about three or four days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we might escape with, without any kind of shower activity, but I don't think it's gonna be that um, possible. I think we'll get at least a chance of maybe seeing some showers and storms and into Friday. And look at Saturday, wow, 74 degrees and we start to warm up as we head into Sunday and Monday and on into Tuesday under sunny skies, but that's because high pressure will take over and it means low humidity and seasonal conditions. So looking very nice overall as we head into the next 10 days. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. I'll see you at noon.